Hey guys, it's Tori Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing an eyebrow routine video. I did one of these like a year and a half, two years ago. And it has like, it's my most viewed video that I've ever put out and it's so embarrassing. So I really needed to redo this video and like show you guys what it's all about. So I do two different brows in this video. I do like an everyday natural brow for those beginners out there. And then I also do a how to shape your brow with concealer, a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more flaky of a brow. So you guys can choose from whichever one you want. Right now I'm wearing like both the fleeky brows, but in the video you guys will see that I have a natural brow on my right eye and then the fleeky brow on my left eye. In my last eyebrow video, I go much more in depth about like cutting your eyebrows and kind of like how to shape them at home. So if you guys are interested in that, it's up on the screen right now and you guys can go watch that and then come back and watch this video on how to fill them in. I do talk about how to shape them with like makeup and concealer and stuff like that. But in terms of like tweezing, um, cutting your brows, everything like that, that's in my other videos. So go check that out there if you guys want that. I really wanted this to just be more of like a how you use it with product and makeup and like what I use and stuff like that. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a ton of videos that I know you guys will absolutely love. I do a lot of makeup on here. Um, so yeah, subscribe, join the fam, it's a fun time and I upload all the time. Literally ask anyone that is subscribed, I upload all the time. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get on to the video. So when it comes down to products, I know a lot of people love using powders, eyeshadows, pencils, stuff like that. And I actually like to use a pencil, a shadow, and a gel. Sometimes the gel is optional, but I do like to include it. But today I'm going to be using the Brow Wiz, which is different than the Brow Pencil and the Brow Definer. And then I'm also going to be using the Brow Powder. So I'm going to do the natural brow on this eyebrow and then the more dramatic brow on this one. So first thing I do is I go in with the Brow Wiz and like I said, this is in the shade taupe. This has the pencil and then the spoolie. So first things first, I always comb the brow. I comb it going up and then I comb the tail down and right around the arch down. I try and comb the arch up as much as possible to match this one because mine are two completely different shapes. So then what I do is I take the pencil side and I go right underneath the brow and I underline it. And I just do small little strokes like this because if I were to do like one long stroke, it could get a little too fake looking, a little too quick. And then after that's done, I go back in and I comb this out to blend the line up. Then I go in on the top and I don't really touch up here. I just start back here, right kind of where my arch gets a little weak. Okay, so I don't really like to use pencil like in my brows because I just think it makes it look kind of, I don't know, messy. It just isn't a cute look in my brows. So I like to take the front and just sort of flick where I have these sparse little brows to fill this area in. Like that, and that just fills it in. Sometimes I get a little too heavy up top and all I have to do is go in and kind of move my finger around and it disperses it. So then I go in with the Brow Powder by Anastasia. This is also in the shade Taupe, so it matches the brow pencil. And the best brush that I've ever found to use with brow powders has been the Kylie Cosmetics brush that she sells with her Kylie liners. These are so good. I love them. So first off, I take the darker shade and I put this in the back of the brow. So I start right up here on the arch because you can definitely tell that it's lighter right here. So I just take this lighter part of my arch. And then follow it down to fill in my brow. Then when I get towards the front of my brows, I switch over to the lighter shade and I go with the natural direction of my brows and just sweep up. That is pretty much it. That's how I do the brow. And then if for whatever reason it gets a little bit too dark, this is a pretty good color today, but let's say like I was a little too heavy handed. That's when I go in with the Benefit Gimme Brow in number one. 
And I first start out here on the arch. Sometimes I can have a little bit of product buildup and I don't want that product buildup in the front. I pretty much just brush my brows like how I have been this entire time and then slowly build it up to the front. I don't really touch the front just because the front is light to begin with, but that just lightens them up a little tiny bit. But there you go, that is your natural brow. Now let's move on to your bolder, more fleeky brow. I kind of do this a little bit backwards and I find that it works best for me. So since my brows are two completely different shapes, I like to kind of make this one match this one and I like to make this one match this one. So first thing that I do is I comb my brows how they naturally go. Instead of going right in with the brow powder, I outline my brows first. Now I know this is like super sort of backwards, but it really helps a lot and I like it more than going back in afterwards to define your eye. So take any concealer that you guys want and I start right underneath where I want my brow to be underlined. Pretty much doing the same thing as over here, but with concealer this time. And then, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my brow has a pretty dramatic arch right here, and this one is much more gradual. So I'm gonna follow the outline of this one. And instead of following this naturally and going up, I'm gonna kind of fake it. So and then I'm just going to go back in with the brow product and do the exact same thing as the other eye. This time just following this new concealer line. And instead of going up right here with my natural brow, it's going to follow this line that we made with the concealer. And the concealer kind of, um, oh, I'm also combing this brow down a little bit so the arch isn't so high. The concealer also kind of acts as like a barrier for the brow and, I mean, for the brow product to kind of make it stop flowing pigment. And then I just got a little ahead of myself, but I just go in and fill in this little gap right there with the brow product. And then I take the top and I define the top. Okay, this is where we're at. We're looking good. Then I go in and I fill in the front. Then I do the same thing as the other brow. I'm gonna go in with the brow powder and take the darker shade for the outer half of my brow. And I make sure to really get this little fake brow that we're making right here. Just so it blends in with my real brow. Then I switch over to the lighter shade and start on the front. Finally, to finish it off, I go in with the brow, cabrow, gimme brow, whatever we're calling it, it's gimme brow. I don't know why, I can't remember the name. And then there it is. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys all did enjoy this video. If you guys want to see my last brow routine, it is right here. And then if you guys want to see a little something extra special for you guys, like a more recent video of mine, I have that right here for you guys. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.